We start in China, where President Moon is continuing his state visit. The South Korean leader delivered a special speech this morning at Peking University, one of China's top universities. Calling North Korea a big threat to China as well, he emphasized the need for the two nations to form a forward-looking strategic partnership to achieve everlasting peace and prosperity in the region. He's set to meet shortly with key politicians, including Chinese Premier Li Keqiang, as well as Zhang Dejiang, the chairman of the Standing Committee of the National National People's Congress, roughly equivalent to South Korea's National Assembly Speaker. President Moon will then move to the city of Chongqing, about 1,800 kilometers southwest of Beijing. According to the Blue House, Chongqing not only holds historical significance for Korea at the site of the nation's provisional government during the Japanese occupation, but it's also the linchpin of President Xi's policies focused on China's economic cooperation and development.